Oh no, oh no. Oh no, what did he do? Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. I'm here with Simba. And it's mail time. And here's Boo. It's okay, Simba. It's okay, Simba. <gasps> Simba. Simba. What are you doing? You're okay, Boo. You're okay, Boo. What was that about, Simba? Simba! Simba, I saw that. What was that about? Simba says he wants to open the mail and Boo's not allowed to open the mail with him. Okay, Simba. Okay, Simba, we'll open the mail. Me and you. Ready? We got a card here. Look at the pretty, pretty stickers. Easter seals. Yeah, Easter seals. Let's open the card. It says, Good Easter basket and Great Easter basket. That's really cute. The Great Easter basket is full of wine and... Simba. Simba. Don't eat the card. Ooh, wow. It says, Hope you had a great one. Treat yourself this Easter. It may be late for Easter, but I can still wish you and yours a happy spring. Stay in, stay safe, and be well. Big hugs from Dove Gray. Thank you so much, Dove Gray, for the wonderful card. Simba likes it a whole lot. And thank you so much for the gift cards. Here's a gift card to Walgreens. That's awesome. It was really cool. And then here's a gift here's some gift cards to Amazon. Very, very cool. Thank you so much for your generous gifts and for the lovely card. And look what Simba did. Simba. Thank you very much, Dove Gray, for thinking of me and the cats. And here's another envelope. Let's open this one. Isn't that pretty with the flowers and the vases? Well, thank you very much. It says, just a note from Eileen. Thank you so much for your donation. And Simba is going to thank you also. Simba. What are you doing, Simba? Thank you very much, Eileen. It's about 4.30 p.m. Look what's going on here. Look at this. Stella and Splash are laying on the bed with their arms around each other. That's so funny. Look at these two love bugs. The cats have a dragonfly tonight. It's the first time I've given them this dragonfly and Boo is going crazy over it. He keeps putting it in his mouth and carrying it away. It's 8.50 a.m. And it's been raining today. And a minute ago, it was not raining. So I went outside and I took some stuff out to the garage and to the garbage. And Hydrox was laying here. You might have just seen him. And when I was coming back in, I saw Ditto at the end of the patio. And I was going to put together some food for them, but it really just started pouring rain. 
So it's raining really hard right now. And Ditto ran away because he, he went to get shelter somewhere. And Hydrox is hanging out under the house because it always stays dry under there. And I'm not gonna give them food right now because I don't want them going out in the rain to eat it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna keep an eye out for the next, uh, the next time the rain stops for a while. And then I'll put some food out. I have some cans of food I was gonna put in the heated kitty cafe. Because it's gonna be rainy all day, I wanna make sure the food is sheltered from the rain. Would you like some more crunchies? I want some more crunchies. You want some more? Would you like some more? Okay, I'll give you some more. Here you go. You're over here. Here you go, Stella. Here you go, Splashy. Okay, Simba. There you go. That's it. That's it.
It's about 10 a.m. right now. It's another rainy, gray, chilly day. Hydrox was just hanging out by the back door. So I put a can of food in the heated kitty cafe for him. Look at all of this debris that has just accumulated in areas of the patio. It's kind of crazy. And there's a whole bunch of it by the feeder, which I just kind of pushed aside. I'm really looking forward to uh, the weather getting nicer. And there's the water bowl. There's some water dripping from the top of the table onto the water bowl.
It's 8.30 a.m. Good morning, Simba. I was going to show you Splash because Splash was laying up here on the pillow and he let me pet him here on the pillow. He did not run away. So I went to get the camera and I was going to show you, but from the time that I walked out of this room to the time that I walked back in this room, he left. Give me a pet. Nice boy, Splashy. You're a nice boy, Splash. Two pets this morning, that's great. You let me pet him on the sofa, and now he's letting me pet him here. This is big progress for Splash. It's 3.19 p.m. And I just came outside to work on some plants. You gotta plant some stuff. Simba's out here with me, right Simba? Okay. This is a pot of mint that came up from last year. There's a whole bunch of clovers in there though. I don't really want the clovers in there. So I'm gonna have to take them out. Maybe I'll find a four leaf clover. That would be nice. There was parsley in there too. I don't know if it still is. Look at Simba, he's laying down in the carrier. I've been out here about five minutes now and he's just making himself comfortable. See? That's nice. I've been out here for quite some time now and Simba has been such a good boy. He's been hanging out in the stroller just like watching me and relaxing and yeah, he's doing really good. So I've planted these three pots of begonias. They've been inside for several weeks, so that's why uh, the blooms don't look as vibrant as they should and some of the, uh, the leaves are not as healthy as they should be right now. But now that we've pretty much passed the last frost, hopefully, uh, these are going to be outside. Um, these will be in the front yard. And then these are the flower pots that I had by the garage last year. Um, they had three types of plants in them, and I don't remember exactly what kind of plants they were. I bought them at Lowe's, and I believe the green in the middle, uh, the green leaves in the middle are salvia. I think those come up every single year, if I'm not mistaken, and they do have like nice purple blossoms. And then like all this light green stuff around the edges, that, that came up. There's a lot in this pot. There's a little bit in that pot that you really can't see. And then this year I bought two colors of geraniums and two colors of marigold. So uh, hopefully these will end up being really colorful pots. There's a red geranium and a pink geranium and a yellow marigold and an orange marigold. And then if the salvia blooms purple, that'll be really cool. I put one of the chickens in there with Simba, one of the little chicks that he loves. He's laying on it right now. I mean, the stroller's a really nice size for the cats because it's a bit bigger than a cat bed. Like, they could actually, you know, stretch out a good deal in there. See, he's laying down, like, he's not all curled up. And he has a bit more room to you know, stretch out farther. Look who it is, it's Ditto. Ditto is hanging out in the back of the yard and I guess he heard Simba starting to meow. What happened was I went and I threw something out and then I went in the garage. And as soon as I went in the garage, Simba started meowing. And Ditto's upset because he hears Simba meowing so he wants to help Simba. Simba has not seen Ditto yet. I mean, like, since Simba's been out here in the stroller. Ditto was hanging out um, on the other side of the garage. I saw him when I was taking stuff to the garbage. Oh no, oh no! Oh no, what did he do? He just peed there? Come on. There's Simba with all the flower pots. How you doing, Simba? Simba in the flower pots. So Simba has been a really good boy. 
and I'm just about to take him inside. He's been out here quite a while. It's really good training for him to be in the stroller. Right, Simba? Okay, I'm just about to take you inside. Um, but I just want to point out a few things. I know every now and then I get comments from people saying, you know, you should let the cats outside. Um, let's remember that there's a lot of cats around here uh, because of the woods. So, you know, there's a whole family of feral cats. And these cats have been inside for quite a while now. We're talking, what, like three years? So it's a whole different hierarchy of cats out here. So if I let these cats outside, chances are very, very good that they're going to end up getting in fights with the other cats. And, you know, it's bad enough being in fights with the other cats, but what makes it worse is we know that uh, FIV, uh, which is what Boo has, uh, is in this cat population uh, because he was diagnosed with that. I mean, he was living outside with Stella for about a year and a half and Stella came inside when she was about a year and a half old with the kittens which were about nine months old at the time and then Boo stayed outside for like another nine months so he lived outside for a little more than two years and in the time between when Stella and the kittens came inside and when he came inside somehow he contracted FIV or so uh, all the tests said he had the test to test for the antibodies and they came back positive so that's why it was a long drawn out process to reintroduce him to the other cats inside so that's another issue with letting the cats outside because then they all of a sudden become susceptible to that if they should get in a fight with another cat and then they get a really deep puncture wound then they could get that also and nobody really knows um, how it affects a cat's health some people theorize that it affects their immune system that it suppresses their immune system it's an immunosuppressive condition other people will tell you differently it just depends on who you talk to there it's just a lot of unanswered questions with regards to that and hey Simba so that's an issue and of course another issue is fleas and worms cause cats running around outside obviously get fleas and they're also gonna eat a whole bunch of stuff you can't control what they're eating and so then they get worms and parasites so in my mind it's always a much better situation to be able to have inside cats that don't have to go outside just because of all the various reasons that we talked about and then bringing a cat outside in a stroller is you know it's a really good option for them uh, ideally it's nice to have a catio like some kind of screened in caged in area where the cats could be outside but then protected from a lot of other stuff um, so Maybe that'll happen soon. I don't know. I haven't had a whole lot of time to look into it. It's on my list of things to research. Um, obviously, I'm always trying to make things better for myself and the cats. And it would be nice to eventually uh, figure out a catio situation. But right now, they have a stroller. And it would be really great for them to get used to being in the stroller. Because it's also like carrier training. You know, Basically, a stroller is like a cat carrier on wheels. And I wish they made uh, strollers for cats that were actually a cat carrier on wheels. It would be like so much better. But uh, I haven't seen any. It's good training for them. They get some fresh air and sunshine and they enjoy it for a while. And Sim has been out here quite a long time today, so he's gonna go inside now. watching this Lucky Ferals video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like me to post more videos, and please make sure to check out these other videos that were selected especially for you.